When looking at the kitchen, I'm interested in how the space is laid out and how the person is using it. Not only do I want to see what the person can physically do, like reaching up high or getting items out of low cupboards, but how they describe how they use the space and talk about meals and food. A quick look in the fridge is often a good way of seeing how much someone is still cooking and I will also look for evidence of potential hazards like water on the floor or burnt pots, stove tops. Rosemary, what does a typical week of meals look like for you? Um, well, I've got a couple of frozen meals in the top of the fridge, but I'm not real keen on those. And I have a fair bit of toast and tea mm -hmm. and uh, peanut butter mm -hmm. and uh, I make boiled eggs sometimes and I don't mind a can of soup or something like that. Okay. The kitchen is often one of the environments where I pick up evidence of cognitive or memory changes or if the person's vision or hearing is changing. Also at this point in the home assessment I may see fatigue beginning to show which often highlights any other difficulties the person is experiencing. Do you enjoy cooking? Loved it, really loved cooking, but I guess I just haven't got the energy anymore. Too much standing up these days, and the walk is a bit of a nuisance in the kitchen too. Mm -hmm. And do you have a set shopping day during the week? Yes, my friend comes and picks me up now that I can't drive, and we go to the shopping centre and we get some stuff, but I don't know, it's I can't carry that much anymore. Mm, okay. Rosemary has shown that she has simplified her kitchen routine and behaviours. She describes only making simple meals and that her exercise tolerance is not what it used to be. To compensate for this, Rosemary tends to lean on the bench for energy conservation. And just like the other rooms in the house, her lower leg strength and balance is impacting on her ability to reach low and high. These are prompts that indicate that a physiotherapist assessment is required. And as the occupational therapist, I would spend time looking at strategies to support Rosemary to maintain and improve how she spends her time in the kitchen.